professing to tell you the complete story of these activities. Yeah. We are professing to tell you the complete story that we know. Right. But these records that we've uncovered yeah. don't tell the story. They tell pieces of it. This is a story that has been told in bits and pieces. This is an attempt to pull most of it together. We know we don't have the full story. We do, however, have some striking new revelations and insights. The story begins here, just off the nation's front yard, the mall. The buildings behind me were the headquarters for the World War II Office of Strategic Services. It was here that the first halting steps toward mind control began. As this 1952 CIA memo says, the aim is controlling an individual to the point where he will do our bidding against his will and even against such fundamental laws of nature as self-preservation. The qualifications would be the subject selected to produce the kind of behavior that you wish, the amount of time, the procedures that are utilized, and the motivations of the people who are designing, executing, and administering the procedures. You're asking whether an individual can be, under hypnosis, influenced, coerced, persuaded, shaped to perform an antisocial act or a destructive act or an act of violence? My answer would be yes. Captain Marco, will you be good enough to lend Raymond your pistol, please? Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Ben. Sure, kid. Shoot Bobby Raymond through the forehead. Yes, ma'am. Of the hundreds of behavioral projects undertaken by the CIA, Gittinger's appears to have been one of the more successful and more conventional. Other experiments were not as conventional. Neurophysicist Dr. Jose Delgado was financed by the Office of Naval Research. In this experiment, the bull is sedated. Electrodes are implanted in its brain. Delgado transmits an electronic impulse to the center of the bull's brain. Delgado has remote control of the animal. Recently released CIA documents refer to the feasibility of remote control of animals and that special investigations will be conducted toward the application of selected elements of these techniques to man.
the children uh, that were abused in, in many ways, like I was, and I feel like Joan Benet Ramsey was, was one such little child who may have had a very similar history, were, um, if I would explain to you that from the time I was born, that my father and others tortured me over and over with, the, with sexual abuse, satanic ritual abuse, near drowning and suffocations, terror harassments where I was absolutely terrified about things that, that I was told under um, when I was in a drug state were going to happen to myself and my, my family. Electroshock in, in the earlier years when I was a child they used cattle prods and as I grew older they used stun guns on me. Um, food and sleep deprivation and then as I grew older and evidently I I was able to, for whatever reason, master the levels of abuse that, that I had gone through and uh, was able to, to do what they wanted to. Um, I was taken to military bases, I was taken to Disneyland, and I was taken to NASA, and I was put into the, a lot of the equipment that they use on astronauts and that they have there that's um, very sophisticated brainwave mind control programming technology that is in use that also uses um, drugs, bright light, sound, and um, electrodes and all kinds of very, very sophisticated frequency medicine.